To a given straight line, to apply, in a given rectilineal angle, a parallelogram equal to a given triangle. The given line will be AB, the triangle will be C, and the angle will be D. What we want to do is construct a parallelogram that uses AB as one of its sides, and that is built using the angle D, and its area will be equal to the triangle C. So the first thing we will do is construct parallelogram BEFG, which we know how to do using Proposition 42, such that BE is in line with BA, and the area of this parallelogram is equal to the triangle C, and angle EBG is equal to angle D. We can then extend FG to FH, and then draw AH parallel to BG. And then we note that AH being parallel to EF, and having FH fall on them, that angle AHF plus angle HFE are equal to two right angles. We can then note that BHF and angle HFE are less than two right angles, which means when HB and FE are produced, they will meet somewhere, and we will say that they meet at K. We can then draw KL parallel to FH, and we can extend HA to L, and we can extend GB to M. And we therefore have a parallelogram HLKF, where HK is its diameter, and we know that from the previous proposition that the complements of this parallelogram are equal, namely parallelogram GBEF and parallelogram BALM. Now angle GBE is equal to angle D, and it's also equal to angle ABM. We therefore have the parallelogram ABML with AB as one of its sides, built using angle D, namely ABM, and has area equal to triangle C.